In tonight's Military Matters, a team of civilians and veterans are on a month-long trek across the country. They are carrying the load to remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. In fact, it's called carry the load, and it means each person literally carries up to 80 pounds to remember fallen service members. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline spoke with them as they stopped by Fort Hood today. Jillian, what are they doing now? Doug Leslie, it started back in 2011 by two Navy SEALs who were frustrated and believed Americans did not remember the true meaning of Memorial Day. So veteran Navy SEAL Clint Bruce put one pound in his bag for every fallen brother or sister he knew and started walking. I believe in the cause. I believe that we need to get back to the true meaning of Memorial Day. Sergeant Andrew DeLeon is a Marine veteran. He says it's important to remember fallen soldiers and first responders who gave it all. So he's riding his bike 4,300 miles from Seattle to Dallas for the trek. The number one thing I hear, uh, especially from the fa families of the fallen, is thank you um, because we are keeping their loved one's memory alive. And so they are the ones carrying the load right now. The Carry the Load team continues to grow each year since it started in 2011. The West Coast route was added in 2016. A lot of us will carry between 20 and 40 pounds during our walks. Um, other times, definitely the guys who are military come out usually with their ruck packs. West Coast Relay Manager Travis Swaim took his team through the mountains of California to San Diego, through the Las Vegas Strip, through the white sands of New Mexico, and in through West Texas, making a stop at the first cab horse detachment today. Fort Hood and the Colleen area are such, such strong supporters of the veteran community and really understand the meaning of why we carry loads. With just three days left in the journey, the West Coast team moves on to the next stop. This is definitely a uh, Remembrance Day. Uh, we definitely want to make sure that we never forget where we came from and pretty much where we're going to go. Now the West Coast Carry the Low team will be meeting up with the East Coast Carry the Low team to finish up the 32 day journey in Dallas this Memorial Day weekend. Doug Leslie back to you. All right, Jillian, thank you very much. I just heard Nick in the newsroom Something now. Something happened. He's in there hooping and hollering. He'll be up with sports next if he can get in here in time.